Hello and welcome back everyone. Here we are back for some more modern action. Uh, we're replaying, sort of replaying one of the decks that we uh, had no volume when we recorded the initial version. Uh, this is of course a Sultai Neoform list. This list is a little bit different. Uh, it's taking in some of the changes I thought might be better. Uh, we still have Baubles. We still of course have the Mandrills and the Tassigers. We have six copies of Tassiger technically because of two Mandrills. Obviously they're not as good as Tassiger, but you get what I mean. Three scours, three thoughts, scou or three consider three scour, three push, three ledger shredder, three spreading seas, three counter spell, two drown lock, two archmage's charm, or two assassin trophies, uh, four neoforms, one knot of this world, and two atraxa, and one grist. Um, I cut the other stuff because I thought other planes are because I thought grist is just probably better. I could be wrong. Kaido lets us draw cards and stuff, but we'll see. We got two mental missteps. We got three mystic disputes, two damnations, three chalice of the voids, three endurance, two creeping corrosions. And actually, I just uh, decided to make a change. I know I am technically playing the Grist. But I'm actually going to play Narset instead. I think Narset's better against some of the decks in the format. And I think it being able to find us uh, removal spells, counter spells, or Neoform is big. Sideboard is the same. Three Endurance, two Creep and Corrosion, three Chalice of the Void, two Damnation, two Minor Misstep, and three Mystic Disputes. Uh, we did cut the land count down to 21 cards, so I am a little nervous about that. But our curve does realistically end at two. Yes, we're playing the one Narset, but if we can't cast Narset, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Uh, so we are basically a two CMC deck lower. Um, again, obviously a track, so we're never going to hardcast her. Um, but yeah, all right, we're going to hop in around one here and uh, see how it goes. Before we do, though, guys, don't forget, Mana Traders referral link is down in the description below. Um, you guys can get set up and play some sweet Atraxa decks in Modern, Legacy, Standard, whatever. Um, Patreon is a little dollar a month. You guys can get deck, your deck played on the channel. Um, and then, of course, uh, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, share. All these things help us out a ton. I love chatting with you guys in the comment section below. And, of course, uh, your guys' is subscribing, hitting the bell notification. You guys get notified whenever we post a new video. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Let's go and hop in around one and have some fun. All right. So the opponent is on Obosh. We're on a lot of stuff. But an early tasker, it looks like, so we're gonna keep. That's actually a really good drop for uh, a lot of reasons. All right, so there's nothing we can do about that. Um, we do only have one basic island in the deck, I believe. Correct. Okay. That's really unfortunate, though, that we lose a Neoform. We're going to play Drown Catacombs to hold up both Counterspell and Fatal Push.
I mean... Okay, spreading season isn't bad. Okay, hold on. Four lands. Hmm. See, with as many lands as we have now, maybe, maybe we would be able to hard cast a Traxa. So we're going to stomp it and bolt. I mean, that is obviously annoying. We're going to cast Ledger Shredder, leaving it vulnerable. Again, we already cast Consider, so even if we would have cast Ledger Shredder first, it would have been our second spell to turn. We are currently very well protected from Blood Moon. That certainly, oh, why did I discard the land that I can actually play? All right, so uh, perhaps we do want to play a white source in the deck?
Maybe there's a chance we do want to play a white source. We got a lot of good cards left to draw in our deck, so. Okay, so there's one overgrown tomb left in the deck. Okay. So against the creature based decks, want those guys in. Uh, obviously, Spreading Seas here is not a great card, and neither is Narset, I don't believe. As much as I love the anime Narset, um, she ain't it. She just isn't. It is not her time to shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Playing first. Can't keep this hand. I don't like it, but... Yeah. We're just going to move on to the next match. All right, round two. This hand's a keep. This hand's very land heavy, but I like it. I think it's fine. Um, it's an interesting start, so I'm not, not excited about it, but... Green, white, okay. All right, so we know what we're looking for now. We're looking for a removal spell. Okay. It resolves easily. I 
Okay. Interesting. Okay. There's a relatively decent chance we're just dead here. Yep, pretty good fucking chance we're just dead here. Okay. Now, obviously, I mean, if they go to fetch this during their turn, I'm going to kill this in response. Knife trigger. Narset goes to the graveyard, unfortunately. Not happy about discarding my own Narset, but she's not that strong here, I don't think. Um, and they gain the life no matter what, so at least this way I prevent the damage. Draw for turn. Very, very dead card. Not this world down. <sighs> yeah, as much as I would love to keep my stuff the way it is. Definitely nervous of what they could be going and getting with this. Okay. Okay. Surprising. Okay, so... Who 
including mandrels. In a neoform. Fuck. Okay, thank you. Hit off Atraxa. Creature. Instant. Sorcery. Uh, land? Done. So then we'll go... I could cast Tasker, but if I did that, then I wouldn't be able to do anything with the other cards. This game feels pretty in the bag. Okay. Resolves. Kill you. Yep, that's definitely infuriating. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Got game one. They're very clearly a more creature centric deck, so we do want you. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Maybe make those cuts, play it like that. Ledger Shredder's insane. Like, it doesn't feel great to be discarding our stuff, but... Ledger Shredder's not a nice card. I will keep this hand. Eesh. Um, well, yep, draw your card. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna stop him from getting. Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> okay, there's a Viridian Longbow. Okay. Obviously not quite the hand we had drawn up. Their deck is surprisingly non-basic land focused here. Oh, well that's a fucking lot of uh of problems. Um, we're just going to lead up this, this counter spell for now because spreading seizing these lands is not going to do me any good when they get a sack to go get a new land. Okay. Sure. I mean, I will be a hundred percent honest. That oh, that's a lot of six, seven damage. I will be honest. That axe actually did like throw a wrench into things. Damnation. Okay. Well, if we draw a push, we're still alive. Nope. We'll bring back endurances in. Um, I'll cut spring seas, I guess. Hmm. I'll keep. This one's actually very nice. I actually like this hand a lot, to be honest. I don't land. Okay, draw for turn. It's another ledger shredder. I'm 
which is not only annoying to draw another Ledger Shredder, but it's just kind of whatever. Although, notably, next turn, I can go Ledger Shredder into Consider. Although, obviously, I'd rather just draw the Neoform and go off. Wow, that is frustrating as hell. Bright side. I do have, again, Ledger Shredder and Thought Scour next turn. If I don't draw the card I need. Okay. For three? Tick down and kill Tassiger. I'm good with that. Endurance for the bin. It's got to be Scour. Turn that into a two drop. Devoted Druid, okay. So, damnation, no. So, we drew four cards. Yeah, we got there. Um, honestly, this deck is so much freaking fun, it's not funny. Oh, I love this deck so much. Yeah, I'm going to play literally like two of my favorite cards in, uh, or a bunch of my favorite cards in the Thought Scour package. Like, I almost want to switch to like a Delver version. Have I played Delver with Ledger Shredder? I don't think we have. I think we found our, one of our next decks. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, here we are. Uh, we're going to keep... There's like a big question mark around that, obviously, because that's what I said. Um, 
Like, we're not particularly close to getting to Tassiger, but... The beautiful thing about Not of This World is it'll actually counter a Solitude's ability. Which, I'm not going to lie, I play a Colorless Ulamog Commander deck, right? So I've read the card Not of This World probably a hundred times. Probably. This is the first time I actually consciously realized, oh, that's an ability too. What in the fuck? Uh, well, excuse the doodle fuck out of me. Why am I checking my own top card? It's a tasker. Ugh, I don't want that bitch. Like, I didn't want that tasker so bad, I literally just considered it away for no good reason. Oh, that's a pretty good card. Alright, well, I'm gonna fucking kill that next turn. Because I'll be fucking damned if you're gonna have nice things. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be real fucking damned if you're gonna have nice things. Get the fuck out of here. Well, that's actually dope. I'm actually super happy about that. Yeah, cause you bet your ass I'm gonna fucking punch that Arcbound Ravager in the fucking throat. Boop, boop, yep. Mm. Okay, so I think we're on to game two. Yep. So, Corrosion is a must. You're out of here. Uh, minor misstep. I don't think so. I think Damnation is also a good one. Maybe cut like that. Actually, I don't want to cut that. I'll cut a bobble. But I don't want to cut any of our combo pieces other than one one uh, hooting mandrel. I like this hand. I do. I think it's all right. Obviously, we're short some removal, but we also have lots and lots of ways to find removal. Theoretically, at least. Arc Bound Ravager. Okay.
I'm not a fan of losing the counter spell. But everything else we've picked up off of this has been pretty great so far. Bail me, baby, one time. Take one. I'm going to fetch. Go there. Mm. Bennett. Oh, my God. So many lands. How many lands are we playing in this deck? Jeez, Louise. Okay. No block. Mm. Tassiger. I can scrub that. Okay. All right, well. Those are pretty good. Missing something here? Lifelink trample. Like you're you're just offering to put all this stuff onto one creature, right? See, I don't know what they're planning. That's why I'm double blocking like this. Wow. Man. Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? Yep. That was fucking stupid. I don't know why I thought it couldn't block Tasker for some reason. That was really fucking dumb.
Yeah, should have gone with the Neo form into a track, so that was really fucking stupid of me. Did we show the Neo form into a track in game one? I don't like a Traxa being my opening hand, but I'll keep this hand. Ugh. We're literally playing two Traxa because of this scenario. I think I should be playing one of the Esper Triome lands. Opponent is still mulliganing. I guess I'm just seeing a bunch more one drops. We should have brought a minor misstep. Yep. Hanger back. Mm. I probably should counter that. All right, well, we're officially off the Atraxa planks. We've drawn both our fucking Atraxas.
Okay, the walking ballista. Stirrings again, sure. All right, well, now I'm a little upset that we uh, play this the way we did, but it's fine. More dead cards. But our opponent could play two spells in one turn. If they do, that'll get us a connive trigger. See, normally I feel like we're in a great spot right here with a damnation in hand, them having no board presence. This is pass. I think he's drawn more to counter something. on top. I'm doing this mainly because obviously if they do find Okay. Well, the big thing is I have to survive this turn, right? Like that's that's the big thing. Which holy fuck. Okay. So no cards in hand. Grieving Corrosion. Generates Ozolith. Oh, I should have played the overrun to him. Fuck. Oh, well. Ah, oh, it's so fucking bad right now. So here's the problem, right? We are at nine. If they have no way to give something trample, 
And I think we're just dead. I need you to get off the table. <sighs> yeah, I think... This will be a three. Hmm. Obviously, we then untap, go Tassiger into Neo form into a Traxa. I feel like we have this game one. But the fact that we got our last Atraxa sitting in our hand and we can't do anything about it. Doesn't feel like this match is very, like, in a very good spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, we're just dead. That was a shitty way to lose the match. Um... It was a good match. Uh, we just drew both the tracks. Like, I really think had we had a better chance, like, had we been able to play this differently of just getting a tracks into play off of Neo form, I think it'd have been a very different match. Unfortunately, we didn't get that chance to. Uh, we drew them both, which initially initially was my biggest fear with this deck was drawing both the tracks. Uh, that being said. It's not like we're going to play, like, Sea Beyond or whatever, the card that shuffles a card back into our deck. Um, yeah. Turnably, we could play a full suite of four, but at that point, we're more likely to draw them, and they're just terrible to draw. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I love the combo. Uh, Narset... Not really sure I'm sold on her, uh, but I again, whatever three drop you want, I think playing one Planeswalker I think is the right choice. Uh, Not this world, obviously, I think is just great with Atraxa, but other than that's terrible card. Neoform, obviously, that's the whole combo. Four Tasker, two, two Hooting Mandrel, I think is the better choice. Um, but of course, I'm biased. I love Tasker. You the you could probably do three and three or four <laughs> Mandrel and two Tasker. Um, I've been liking three bobble. I think three bobble is a good number. I don't think we want to go any, need to go any higher. Um, if you want to, you can. I just don't think you need to. Um, and yeah, sideboard. We should have probably brought in minor misstep, especially once we saw the one mana like indestructible. I don't know. I think we need more answers than spreading seas to Urza Saga. Cards busted. Easily the best card in modern right now. Um, not even funny. Not even close. Like, I was super scared of Ragavan when this stuff got first printed. But now, after playing a bunch of modern with Ragavan and Urza Saga, Ragavan's fine. Like, if you deal with him in the first three or four turns on the battlefield, yeah, he gets a good amount of advantage. But you can beat that. Urza Saga is just such a busted card. Like, the fact that decks that aren't even, like, artifact decks play Saga... Just, just a perfect example of how good that card is. So, um, but yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did hit the like button, if you want to see more, visit this. Don't forget the subscribe button. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one.